Hello students, warm welcome to all of you. Now in this module we are going to discuss about uh, pair of linear equations in two variables, third chapter. In that, what are very important one mark questions in order to get more than 80 percentage easily. Right? Let's get into the problems. And before that, we already discussed about linear equations of the types consistent and inconsistent and in which cases we can find out the solution or solutions and in which cases we cannot find out the solution and what are those types of equations also right so coming to the first problem here the value of k for which the system of equations x plus 2y is equal to 3 and 5x plus ky is equal to 7 inconsistent what do you mean by system of equations are inconsistent Inconsistent means solution does not exist. Solution does not exist. So, solution does not exist means, suppose if your equations are a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 are said to be inconsistent only when a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 but not equals to c1 by c2. Then only they are said to be inconsistent linear equations are simply a pair of parallel lines. So the given equations are x plus 2y is equal to 3 and 5x plus ky is equal to 7. Right? So the given equations are the first one x plus 2y is equal to 3. And the second equation is 5x plus ky is equal to 7. Since these two are inconsistent, a1 by a2 means the ratio between x terms. Here x term coefficient is 1. 1 divided by 5 is equal to b1 by b2. Ratio of coefficients of y terms that is 2 divided by k which is not equal to c1 by c2 that is going to be 3 divided by 7. Right? 1 by 5 is equal to 2 by k. Since these two terms are equal, we can consider them both. By cross multiplication, 1 into k equal to k, which is equal to 2 5s are 10. We got the value of k is equal to 10, but you will have to verify whether that is the possible value or not. Suppose if you write 10 here, 2 divided by 10 is equal to 1 divided by 5. That 1 divided by 5 is absolutely not equal to 3 by 7. Therefore, k equal to 10 is our final value of k. Hope you understand? Right. Moving on to the next problem. The value of k for which the system of equations has no solution. See, before that we did it is inconsistent. Now, no solution. Is there any difference between both the problems? Not at all. But the only difference is between the terms x and y in both the equations. Okay, I would write the given equation, a pair of equations. They are x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. I am going to write it as x plus y is equal to 4 because both should be in the same standard form. And the second one is 2x plus ky is equal to 3. Since they have no solution. So, no solution. No solution means they are inconsistent equations. Only when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2. Then only they are said to be inconsistent equations and they have no solution. Substitute them here. a1 means coefficient of x. So 1 by 2 is equal to b1 by b2. So b1 is also equal to 1 divided by k but not equal to c1 by c2 that is 4 divided by 3. Here since these two terms are equal so that we can consider them and by cross multiplication k once are k is equal to 2 into 1 equal to 2. So k is equal to 2 is the final answer? Yes, because here it is 1 by k means 1 by 2 is not equal to 4 by 3. So therefore the value of k is equal to 2. Coming to the next problem. Here 3x plus 4y is 2, x plus 2y is equal to 9 is to 4. Then what is the value of 3x plus 5y is to 3x minus y? This is one of the interesting problems. We will write the information given that is 3x plus 4y is 2 divided by 
x plus 2y is equal to 9 divided by 4. Then, what is the value of 3x plus 5y divided by 3x minus y is equal to what? So, in order to find the value of uh, the ratio, 3x plus 4y by x plus 2y is equal to 9 divided by 4, right? I will do cross multiplication. Then it would be 4 into 3 is equal to 4 3s are 12x plus 4 into 4y is equal to 16y is equal to 9 into x is equal to 9x plus 9 2s are 18y. Okay. So keep uh, x terms on one side and uh, y terms on the other side, transposing 9x this side and 16y that side. Then it would be 12x minus 9x is equal to 18y minus 16y. So 12x minus 9x is equal to 3x, which is equal to 18 minus 16 is equal to 2y. So 3x is equal to 2y, right? Um, you can directly do this by, you know, I can write it as 3x by 3x is equal to 2y, transposing y this side and 3 that side. So x by y is equal to 2 divided by 3 x by y is equal to 2 by 3, can I take x is equal to some 2k and y is equal to some 3k, right? Because x by y is equal to 2 by 3. I cannot take x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 because that's a ratio, right? So x is equal to 2k, y is equal to 3k. I will substitute that over here. Then this will become 3x, 3 into 2k, 3 2ks are 6k plus 5y, 5 into 3k, 5 3s are 15k, whole divided by 3x minus y, 3 into 2k, 3 2s are 6k, minus y, y is going to be 3k. Okay, what is 6k plus 15k? 6 plus 15 is equal to 21k, divided by 6 minus 3 is equal to 3k. Can we cancel 3 and k and k? 3 1s are 3, 3 7s are 21, so the final ratio is going to be 7 is to 1. In fact, this problem should be given for 2 marks. When it was given for 1 mark, fine. This is what the way to answer the problem. Right? Moving on to the next one. That is, the area of the triangle formed by the lines x equal to 3, y is equal to 4 and x is equal to y is. For that, I will have to consider coordinate system that is x axis and this is y axis okay so x is equal to 3 y is equal to 4 and x is equal to y what is this x is equal to 3 y is equal to 4 x is equal to 3 means this is 3 for example and this is 4 okay so x is equal to 3 is a line x is equal to 3 is a line parallel to y axis because x value will always be 3 okay so, the line would be like this. So, if you take any point on this line, then x value is always 3 for this line. So, this is x is equal to 3. And what is y is equal to 4? y value is always 4 on the line. y value is always 4 means this is what is the line where y value is always 4. Okay. So, the name of the equation is y is equal to 4. Then what is the point of intersection of both of them? x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4 means this point is 3 comma 4. So it means this vertical distance is going to be this vertical distance is going to be 4 units and the horizontal distance is going to be 3 units. And the next one, next line is x is equal to y. x is equal to y means whose x value and y value is always same on the line. So the line would be <coughs> passing through of course, the area of triangle formed by the lines x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4 and x is equal to y. x is equal to y means the line would be like this. Okay. This is what is the line. So, this line is x is equal to y. Fine. So, what is the area of the triangle formed by these three lines? So, formed by these three lines, actually there is no area of the triangle formed. Because x is equal to 3, it should be y is equal to, x is equal to 3, then it should be y is equal to 3. Okay? If it is y is equal to 3, then only the area will be formed. Then there, there is a triangle will be formed. That is why we will change the equation here. So the equation is going to be, right? x is equal to 3, y is also is equal to 3. 
इट इज नॉट फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाई फाइन नाउ वी कैन अगेन टेक द कोऑर्डिनेट प्लेन ओके एज लाइक वी डिस्कस दिस एक्स एंड वाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री ओके x equal to three, y equal to three means this is what is the line passing through three. The name of this line is y is equal to three, okay. And the passing through this, this is the line, okay. This is what x is equal to three. This point is x is equal to y, and this is what is the line passing through the origin. and where x values and y values are always same which is x is equal to y right so this point whose x value is 3 and y value is 3 it means the horizontal distance is 3 and the vertical distance is also is equal to 3 you are asked to find out the area of the triangle formed area of the triangle formed between right so this is what is the area of the triangle formed so in this uh, area of the triangle formed by these three Uh, is going to be uh, like this is three and three right three into three is equal to nine half into area is equal to half into three into three so half into three into three is equal to nine divided by two which is equal to four point five square units right moving on to the next problem so the next problem is The value of k for which the system of equations has non-zero solutions. Non-zero solutions means definitely there is a unique solution. So the given equation here is 3x plus 5y is equal to zero, passing through origin because 3x plus 5y is equal to zero. It has x term as well as y term, so definitely it passing through origin. And what is the second one? K x plus ten y is equal to zero. So, if k is not equal to zero, then also it passes through origin because here it is the line. It is the line passing through origin all the time. X term is there, y term is there, but there is no constant. See here, you need to find out the value of k such that it has non-zero solutions. it has a non zero solution means for any non zero value of k it is always passing through origin so that is why here the value of k for which the system of equations 3x plus 5y is equal to 0 and kx plus 10y is equal to 0 has a non zero solution means so if one equation 3x plus 5y is equal to 0 would be this and kx plus 10y is equal to 0 that depends on the value of k if it is positive it may be passing through like this maybe like this If it is k value is negative, it may pass through like this. So all the time passing through only zero comma zero. So according to this information, the value of k is always not equal to zero. For that, it has a non-zero solutions. Okay, right. Coming to the next problem here, that is, what is the point of intersection of the line represented by 3x minus 2y is equal to 6 and y-axis? See, this is y-axis and this is x-axis. Fine. So 3x minus 2y is equal to 6 is a line. For example, that line would be like this. The name of the line is 3x minus 2y is equal to 6 is the name of the line. What is the point of intersection of this line with y-axis? This is what you want. But you know. This is a point on y-axis. On y-axis, always x value is equal to zero. We do not know what is the value of y. That y we need to find. So substitute zero in the place of x. In 3x minus 2y is equal to 6. Substitute x is equal to zero. So 3 into zero minus 2y is equal to 6. Then 3 zeros are zero minus 2y is equal to 6. Then minus 2y is equal to 6. Then the value of y is equal to six by minus two. Then y is equal to how much? Two three is a six. So the value of y is equal to minus three. What do you mean by this? Means the line is not this way. The line would be this way. Okay. So this point is what is this? Zero comma minus three. This is what is your line 
3x minus 2y is equal to 6. Of course, we do not know what is the line here, right? But this line intersecting y-axis at what point? This is what is the value of y and the point is 0, comma minus 3. See, the direction of the line is not required here. Randomly, we have taken one line like this. That's it. Okay? Fine. Uh, moving on to the next problem. X is equal to mx, m, uh, sorry, 3m minus 1 and y is equal to 4 is the solution of the equation x plus y is equal to 6. See, it is given clearly. What do you mean by solution of an equation? The values of x and y satisfies the given equation are said to be the solutions. Right? So, here, the given equation is x plus y is equal to 6. Where the value of x is given as 3m minus 1 and y is given as 4. When you substitute both of them here, 3x plus y, x is 3m minus 1 plus y is equal to 4 which is equal to 6. So that is 3m minus 1 plus 4 is equal to plus 3 is equal to 6. 3m is equal to what? Transpose plus 3 that side 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Then the value of m is equal to 1. Right? Next. The next problem is for what value of p system of equations have no solution. Did you observe here we got totally three problems on no solution. So please be focused about these kind of problems. So the system of equations are 2x plus py is equal to 8 and second equation is x plus y is equal to 6. These two have no solution. No solution means no common solution. No common solution. So when no common solution, when they are inconsistent. So inconsistent equation means a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 but not equals to c1 by c2. Then only they are said to be inconsistent linear equations. Substitute them here a1 by a2. a1 is equal to 2 by a2 is equal to 1 equals to b1 by b2 that is p divided by again here it is 1 is not equal to c1 by c2 that is 8 by 6 okay since these two terms are equal p into 1 is equal to p which is equal to 2 ones are 2 so the value of p is equal to 2 of course you can write it as 2 by 1 is not equal to 8 by 6 so therefore the possible value of p is 2 coming to the next problem here so the next problem is x equal to a and y is equal to b is the solution of the equations x minus y is equal to 2 and x plus y is equal to 4 then the values of a and b are respectively. What does it mean? Indirectly he is asking to find out the solution. Right? So x minus y is equal to 2 that is one equation. x plus y is equal to 4 this is another equation. See you can solve these two equations for x and y by any of your algebraic methods. So I am going to solve them by elimination method. y and y gets cancelled by adding. Then x plus x is equal to 2x. What am I doing here? I am adding them both. So x plus x equal to 2x. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Then the value of x is equal to 2, 3, 6. After getting the value of x is equal to 3, you can choose any one of the equations. See here x plus y is equal to 4 is there. If x plus y is equal to 4, x equal to 3. So, 3 plus y is equal to 4. 3 plus how much is equal to 4? 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Therefore, the values of x and y are 3 and 1. Next. Half the perimeter of a rectangular garden whose length is 4 more than its breadth is 36 meters. Find the dimensions of the garden. I think this is one of the textbook problems, right? So, here it is. This is the rectangular garden. This is what is the length and this is what is the width. And half the perimeter of a rectangular garden. What is perimeter of the rectangular garden? Perimeter is nothing but the total boundary. That is 2 times L plus B. So, 2 times L plus B is the perimeter. According to the given problem, half the perimeter means half P is equal to 36. Half P is equal to 36. So, half into perimeter is 2 into length plus breadth is equal to 36. Here 2 and 2 gets cancelled. But whose length is 4 meters more than its width? Length is 4 meters more than its width means width is equal to B. Then length is equal to 4 meters more. 
So length is 4 meters more than its breadth and breadth is breadth only which is equal to 36. Okay. So B plus B is equal to 2B and transpose 4 that side 36 minus 4 is equal to 32. Then breadth is going to be 2 16s or 32. Okay. So that is the breadth. Of course this is 16 meters. And what about the length? Length is 4 meters more than its breadth. So 4 plus breadth that is 4 plus 16 is equal to 20 meters. So this way we can answer this problem easily. So these are about one mark problems and one mark problems are pretty much easier but the only thing is that you will have to remember the conditions of consistency okay and in which case they are said to be consistent and which case they are said to be inconsistent equations. If they are consistent then what about the number of common solutions? If they are inconsistent what about? Right? So just keep this thing in mind then definitely you can answer these problems easily. Hope you understand. Enjoy the class. Thank you.